Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software and I'm going to be looking at the channel mixer adjustment um, and I'm going to be looking at it in Affinity Photo mainly but I will also sort of briefly have a quick look at Serif's earlier photo product on the PC at least um, which was Photo Plus, just to show they they are pretty similar. So, pretty much what you can do in Affinity Photo, you can adapt to use in Photo Plus. Now, I originally saw this on a Photoshop tutorial, um, so I'm basically sort of just sort of adapting that tutorial a little bit. But I just wanted to point out that the, as far as I can tell, the channel mixer adjustment layer is not available in the cut down version of Photoshop which is Adobe Elements at least not in the version that I have anyway um, so this is like a, a bit of one-upmanship on Adobe Elements so let's have a quick look at how you can access the channel mixer F first you can come to the layers menu and new adjustment layer and channel mixer adjustment or in the tab next to the layers tab you've got the adjustments here and one of the ones further down is channel mixer so you can just click on that and then it opens up this channel mixer panel that has five sliders the red, green, blue, alpha and offset now before I go too much into this I just want to quickly look at the help file for Affinity Photo and this is the help file for the channel mixer adjustment and as you can see this image at the top here is like the before and after of them using the channel mixer and this very small section down here is all the help they are giving for this control which just shows you quite sort of how they're, I don't know what they're thinking and surely I would think it would be better to give better text telling you how to do this thing rather than just a di uh, an image that you hover over so but basically they're just saying that you can select color modes and make adjustments to single colors channels including the layers alpha channel and the offset slider controls the over overall influence the selected output channel has on an image as a whole and basically all the sliders you drag to the left to decrease and drag to the right to increase now the only problem I had there was what is an alpha channel and it took me a while to find this out but on here for alpha channel it is um, the alpha channel is for the whole channel or currently selected pixel mask adjustment uh, these channels st store the transparency information so it's sort of a bit like altering the opacity I would guess is what that is alluding to so that's how helpful the help files for Affinity Photo are and going quickly to Photo Plus Well, I've opened up this image here the channel mixer is again an option in the adjustments and via the layers new adjustments and channel mixer now with the channel mixer in photo plus you've only got the four sliders red green blue and constant I'm guessing the constant is pretty much like 
um, the offset that is in Affinity Photo. Um, so what does this do? Well, it just you can basically you can change the colors by quite a bit within a certain color range, and you have the three color ranges which you can go for. You can red, green, and blue. At the moment, by default, it's set on red, so you can see that red is at 100 percent, all the others are zero. If I put it on green, green is 100 percent, all the others are zero, and Similarly blue, 100%, all the others are zero, and ditto for the alpha channel. So I'll go back to the red. So although you can alter the colours on, say, the red channel, you can alter the blues and greens, you're sort of really affecting the red pixels, particularly I think, in that channel. At least how that's how I sort of understand here it, it works. I may be wildly off base here, but let me just quickly move this slider of the red, and as you can see, it's like basically taking a, all the red out of the image, and you can have some slight effect by it bringing the green up here and it's bringing some red into the sky and you can sort of really make the sky all pink without affecting too much down here apart from this housing bricks have gone green let me just quickly reset that come to the green channel again if I move the green slider all the way down it goes weird and wacky colours So you can basically have a tinker and get all sorts of weird effects depending on how you move the sliders. Just reset on that. Come to the blue. And this, as you can see, is you can get all sorts of unusual effects. Now really I would imagine trying to affect a whole image like this unless you are going for a sort of a an unusual effect and you see the alpha channel here is like the, like the transparency you could get rid of all the image or just have it very faint Yeah, so like I'm saying, if you want to go for a, an unusual weird effect, this can be quite good um, for affecting ha a whole image. But I think where the channel mixer really comes into its own is for altering the colours of a specific area. Um, so let me just delete that for a second. And I'll come to this other image which I've set up, which is a, a blue and a red shirt. And they're all on different layers, background and the two shirts. And if I highlight this blue shirt and I come to the flood select tool and I click in here. So it selects all of the blue areas of the shirt. And then I come to the adjustments, select the channel mixer. That's a channel mixer. When I come back to the layers, the channel mixer has got the layer mask just for that shirt area. So I can now press Ctrl and D to deselect that. Then I can alter these sliders and whichever channel I want to. But let me just quickly move these around just to show you. 
the things that you could do and come to the blue channel and mix this up so I'm just changing the one shirt not both shirts let me just reset this and I have jotted down a few numbers which I want to try so on the blue channel I'm going to go for 54 in the red slider 117 on the green slider I'm going to leave blue at 100 and the alpha I'm going to make it minus 104 so I'm going to leave that there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click merge so it just merges down into the blue layer there I'm now going to highlight the red shirt again come to the flood field tool select that come back to adjustments and click on the channel mixer so again we have the layer mask and the channel mixer tool just above the red layer and on this one I'm going to be altering the red channel and the figures I'm going to do I'm going to leave the red at 100 I am going to leave the green on 0 and the blue I will make 30 and the alpha I will make minus 108 and press Ctrl and D to get rid of the selection area and then merge that in so now I'm using a selection and the channel mixer together you can completely alter the color of one particular area on one of your images so I think the channel mixer is a much more powerful tool in that context now just quickly going back to photo plus like I said on this you can do everything the same you can make selecting areas and you can alter things um, but if, say for example you could just move the red slider down get rid of all the red from this image and make that like an all blue and I can see you can move the blue slider to alter the colors that way so it works in the same way now another thing that you can do is let me go back to this image here if I once again add the channel mixer to this you can make it into a monochrome image um, by selecting grey and then you have a black and white image and the sliders change to intensity, alpha and offset you don't have as much control on this I mean the intensity really is just like how dark or bright the black and white effect is and again the alpha just makes it it's like the transparency but it makes it bright or dark and similarly for the offset so it's it's not as good as making the black and white image um, say that if you use the proper black and white la uh, adjustment layer would have been a better option but that option is there for you if you wanted to do a monochrome image just reset everything where it should be and again in photo plus if I just press uh, control and Z to get back to that if I put a tick in there to monochrome it will change everything to black and white although you do still have the red green and blue sliders so that is a slight difference from affinity photo right let me just get rid of this again now the one last thing I just want to have a quick look at with 
the channel mixer and this particular image. Now, this is can be quite good with infrared images, and I don't. This isn't a, an infrared image, but I can sort of make it look like one fairly quickly by just clicking on the invert adjustment layer. So it's not true of all infrared images, but quite a lot of infrared images, the sky will come out a sort of ready muddy colour. So what I can do to that is come to the channel mixer, which I've lost, um, where is it? Oh, there it is, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to swap the red and blue channels over. So on the red, where red is normally 100, I'm going to make that 0. And I'm going to make the blue 100. Then come to the blue channel. And where the red is now zero, I'm going to make that 100. And where the blue was 100, I'm going to make zero. So there you have the infrared image. Now with a much more bluer sky. And you can then make other adjustments if you want to sort of make all sorts of other uh, effects because once you've got to this you could alter say for example the brightness and contrast and get all sorts of other effects that way so that's hopefully quickly demonstrates what you can do with the channel mixer Let me just move that in, go back to the layers yeah so the channel mixer is probably best, in my opinion, like with I did with the shirts, for selecting a certain area and changing the colour completely for that. But you can uh, alter the whole image and get all sorts of unusual effects. I hope this has been of some help to both Affinity Photo and Photo Plus users. I know I didn't look greatly into Photo Plus, but pretty much everything that you can do in Affinity Photo, you can do in Photo Plus as well. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.